Henrique Cornelius Agrippa. He was a German polymath, physician, legal scholar, soldier, and occult writer. He is considered one of the most influential occultists of the early modern period. With his knowledge of the law, he frequently defended women accused of witchcraft and wrote three books on the occult that are still as primary sources on the subject today. He never rejected magic in its totality, but he did retract his early manuscript of the occult philosophy. In 1535, he was accused of heresy and condemned to death. He escaped but died shortly after. After his death, rumours circulated about him consorting with demons. In the most famous of these stories, he kept a demonic black dog as his familiar. The dog jumped into the river as his master neared death, causing many to believe it was a demon. Pope Sylvester II, the first French Pope and perhaps the most significant Pope of his era. Pope Sylvester II was known to be very well versed in mathematics, mechanics and astronomy. He is credited with inventing the pendulum lock and the hydraulic organ, as well as introducing Arabic numerals to the Western world. The rumours of his satanic deal-making only began after he passed in 1003. Rumours swirled that his great intelligence and inventive ability were a result of a pact with the devil. However, this was likely due to his regular contact with the Eastern world and the fact that he tried to root out corruption and bribery within the church. Urbain Grandia. This French Catholic priest was burned at the stake in 1634 after he was accused of witchcraft. Unlike many other witch hunt victims, there may have been evidence of his collusion with the Prince of Darkness. While he had taken the oath of a Catholic priest, he was known to have had relationships with a number of women and even accused of bewitching a group of nuns, sending a demon upon them to commit evil acts. At his torturous trial, the judge revealed documents that supposedly proved his demonic pact. The pact was written backwards in Latin, and it is thought to even include the signature of Satan himself. The judges who condemned him ordered that he be put to the extraordinary question, a form of torture in which the victim is forced to drink large quantities of water in a short time resulting in gastric distension, water intoxication, and possibly death. An iron vice filled with spikes that was brought to red-hot heat and then applied to his calf and ankle to shatter the bone, and then he was burned at the stake. Johann Georg Faust he allegedly made a deal with the devil, represented by a lesser demon, Mephistopheles, for his soul in return for 24 years of service from the demon himself. While the deal was for the demon to fulfill every lust in his heart, all the granted wishes eventually end horribly. As the 24 years came to an end, Satan, chief of devils, appeared and announced Johann's death for the coming night. Johann, at a last supper scene, asked his friends to forgive him. At midnight, there was a great noise from his room, and in the morning, its walls and floors were found splattered with blood and brains, with Johann's eyes lying on the floor and his dead body in the courtyard. 
Robert Johnson. As the story goes, he was directed towards a crossroads where he met the devil who tuned his guitar and taught him how to master the blues. According to legend, the price of his gift was an early demise, which is speculated to be the fault of a jealous husband who poisoned him after catching him with his wife. Even more than a century after his birth, his legacy is still plagued with the rumours surrounding his death. Led Zeppelin Guitarist Jimmy Page, known as one of the greatest guitarists of all time, stated, My interest in the occult started when I was 15. I do not worship the devil, but magic does intrigue me. Magic of all kinds. I read magic in theory and practice when I was about 11 years old, but it wasn't for some years that I understood what it was all about. He even had a cultist, Alistair Crawley's words, do what you wilt, inscribed into the grooves of the original vinyl and later went on to purchase Crawley's old house. Niccolo Paganini one of his most famous pieces is titled Witch's Dance. Because of this title, many believe he had made a deal with the devil to become the greatest musician in the world. The claim was supported by his unmatched skills, which includes the ability to play three octaves across four strings in one hand, a feat that is still considered nearly impossible. He once won a rare, very valuable Stradivarius violin by playing a piece so technical it was said to be unplayable without extensive preparation. Paganini played it on sight. Gilles de Rice the 15th century aristocrat was left with massive amounts of wealth and power in his youth upon his father's passing. Despite these advantages, he had no one to teach him how to care for them properly, and he quickly squandered his family's assets. In a desperate attempt to regain his lost fortune, he began to experiment with the occult with the former priest who assured him that he would regain his wealth if he sacrificed children to a demon named Baron. After the alleged deal, he embarked on a violent spree, killing and torturing anywhere between 80 and 200 children. He was later caught, tried and found guilty. He was executed in 1440. Ozzy Osbourne. In a 1984 issue of Hit Parade, Ozzy said, I really wish I knew why I'd done some of the things I've done over the years. Sometimes I think I'm possessed by some outside spirit. A few years ago, I was convinced of that. I thought I truly was possessed by the devil. I remember sitting through The Exorcist a dozen times saying to myself, yeah, I can relate to that. In another issue, he stated, I don't know if I'm a medium for some outside source. Whatever it is, frankly, I hope it is not what I think, Satan. He also admitted that he made a deal himself saying, I already have. Well, you sell your soul to the devil when you do something yourself that you shouldn't. And I already have. I've lived my life to the fullest. If there's an afterlife, I've got a good spot in the furnace, you know? Giuseppe Tartini the story of his alleged deal with the devil originates in his most famous piece of music, Devil's Trill. He allegedly dreamed that the devil had come to him, asking him to be his servant. He gave the devil his violin who immediately began to play with such skill that he took Tartini's breath away. 
When the composer rose from his dream, he immediately wrote down the music from memory and thus wrote the most popular piece of music of his career. Despite its success, the composer knew that the piece was still far from the devil's original rendition. What he had written was in his own words, so inferior to what I had heard, I would have broken my violin and abandoned music forever. Jay-Z World famous rapper Jay-Z has battled connections to the Illuminati, an infamous secret society allegedly possessing unknowable power. This is partly due to the fact that Jay-Z has referenced the devil in his music multiple times, including one song simply named Lucifer. His music videos are filled with seemingly occultist symbols and imagery, including Jay-Z wearing clothes with the famous satanic phrase, do what thou wilt. Some of his past merchandise has also been decorated with a satanic pentagram and all-seeing eye. Even hip-hop artist MC Hammer believes Jay-Z made a bargain with the devil. Theophilus of Adana In perhaps one of the oldest stories of mortals striking up a devilish bargain, Saint Theophilus the Penitent was said to have made a deal with the devil after he turned down the position of bishop out of humility. Though he later regretted this decision, he allegedly sought out a wizard to help him contact the devil in order to help the devil commanded that he renounce Jesus and the Virgin Mary in a contract signed in his own blood. Years later, Theophilus regretted this deal and fasted for 73 days before the very contract he signed appeared on his chest. He then took the contract to the legitimate bishop and confessed. The bishop burned the document and Theophilus was so overjoyed to be free that he died shortly after. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.